Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Hey, hey everybody, <clears throat> artist Caleb here, with uh, System Shock 2, and um, this is a classic, it came out way back in the day, and this is officially farther than I've ever gotten in the game. The reason why is because uh, when it came out, um, the chipset on my computer was wrong, bad, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but it wasn't supported. And so I never got to play it. Never did. All I could do is just drool over the box and the uh, screenshots on the back of the box. Who knew that, <clears throat> like, you know, 14 years later or 15 or whatever, I'd finally get to play it. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the whoa, end of the hall whoa. will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. First, I gotta make a phone call. This device is temporarily out of order. This device is temporarily out of order. I was, uh, I was so excited to play. This device is temporarily out of order. This game. Hey guys! Doom, 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 doom. Hey, can you hear me? Hey! Doom, doom, doom. Hi! This this game... I mean, I just I drooled over being able to play it. And, uh... <laughs> nope. So this is a great day. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Excellent. That's a wonderful way to get around. I'd do that all day long. <clears throat> but we can't. 
because <clears throat> it's time to play System Shock 2. Try Optimum. The search for the lost Curly's Gold Adventure Time stuff. This device is temporarily out of order. Ah, oh, I really have to make a phone call. That's cool, isn't it? Happy Noodles! Sandman Audio. Hey! Dun, 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 dun. I want some happy noodles! Maybe this phone will work. This device is temporarily out of order. Dang it! So, uh. I could never make it work. I tried everything. Everything on the planet. And. Uh, I just had to lay it down. Always hope that someday, maybe somehow, I could play it. Now I can. And I'm so excited. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Okay. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Excellent. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? What the? That means you're in shoot mode. Whoa. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, oh, by mother clicking flipping on the MFD display. button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground got it. to the next training station. Ah, oh, this is... <clears throat> Isn't this cool? It's like being on a Tron light cycle grid. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, Drag it from your inventory into the 3D view, and release the mouse button. In a way, I want some chips. A bag of crisps. What the? Uh, what a ripoff. It was only one chip in there. Just one sip of juice. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view, and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right-click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. If you can still see your ah! inventory display, it means oh. you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right-clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Ah. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right-clicking on them. See the crate in front of you? Yes. To search it, center it on your screen and right-click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right-click. Oh, to take an item from that container, simply left-click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. I already did that. Way ahead of you, buddy. 
This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. How do I to do jump, that? Simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto <sighs> by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. No, it's too hard. I can't do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Nuh-uh. I'm looking upward and it's automatically not climbing it. However, if I press forward and look up... <laughs> they didn't explain that. Great. You've done well. Thank you. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. I've already forgotten all of it. I don't even remember how to look around anymore. What do I do? I don't know how to look and or do anything. Oh no, all right, here we go. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start your military career. Well, I sure will. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and save it and pause it here. And then we'll continue on in the next video. But I just have to say, I am so excited to play this because, uh, you know, it's just it's one of those games that I missed. It's one of them that I, I never actually got to get in to do. And so I'm going to have a blast with this, I think. Um, so let's do it. But I'll pause it here and we'll continue on in the next video. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.